Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Civilization episode. My name is Legend Ronnie and today we are going to talk about the expedition version 2.0. The reason why it's version 2.0 is because today I'm gonna do 63 up to 69 including I have recorded them on my phone so now I'm just gonna put them on my uh, recording program add a little bit of me on the background and try to explain you the best way how I've done it show you the strategy the setups and everything if you don't know about this game you can check my channel and you will see a lot of more informative video so the reason I started this is just so I can show you that uh, I am on 70 and uh, just to show the leaderboard so I'm a rank 3 at the moment in the expedition so I believe that uh, I can give you some very good tips, advices and, and strategies about it since I'm the third on the server at this point. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get back and let me start playing the video. For some reason it doesn't have sound at the beginning. Uh, the setup how I used I I'm gonna show it to you in the next video when I'm gonna start playing it So you're going to see about half a way through the video. You're going to see the actual setup that I have been using and uh, The sound is gonna start in, in about a minute, but I have Charles Martel which you have already seen him He's on full infantry then I have Boudica which uh, is on full Archers and I have Lancelot which is on full cavalry with Minamoto and Boutica is with John of Arc if I'm not mistaken is with John of Arc on uh, Full archers and John of Arc has masks maxed out skills My CPO is uh, my CPO is with uh, Julius Caesar as you already see and my Tomoe Gozen is with Cleopatra. Now I have to, to mention that these two particular commanders, John of Arc and Cleopatra, they are very good for these particular stages. Now this stage or this level in the expedition that I'm doing right now, this is 63 if you didn't know already and you can see on the top left that at the moment I do not have any boost so I have no army increase attack or anything which I would advise you you should do it before you start this or even get some runes some runes with attack defense or health and any other runes uh, would be very very helpful so this is uh, 63 you can see my Charles Martel is the main tank with full uh, swordsman him and Richard the first they are just pew beasts then I have I have Boutica and Lancelot that are the damage dealers and my CPO is basically my second tank and then Tomo is just some extra army in there so the strategy that I use you have already seen that I uh, basically started from one side and I just pull them one by one I am doing it much better this on my phone the control is much better than playing on my computer so that's why I had to do it on my phone and then uh, play it back on my computer so that's why it is quite a little bit of a of a difference so obviously now I'm at this point I'm just uh, smashing them down Tomoe was getting uh, hit and I was checking time and I realized that I will be able to do this at three star I don't have many losses so this is another advice if you see that you are able to three star it it would be better if you pull out uh, some troops if you didn't know already once you three star any of the expedition level after you three star them you will be able to get daily rewards from that and that's how you make a lot of coins so if you have like lower level stages that you haven't three star I would advise you to go back and re revisit them and try to three star them because it is going to, to help you you're going to make a lot of coins into the expedition alright so now we are about to smash the last one and there you go in the last second I managed to get a victory and I did the three stars 
So yep, yep, hooray. So now we are going on to the 64 one challenge. And I'm using the same the same setup. I'm just checking them out so you can see there are a bunch of tier 5 troops. A lot of them, but I have to say that John of Arc and Cleopatra plays a very very good role. Now my Cleopatra has only one in her first skill and uh, that was a, is a bit of disadvantage for me later on in the game. My Cleopatra has 5 points in the gathering skill, so that makes her a very very good gathering commander. But I'm, uh, it's a bit of a downfall for me later on in the game, so I might have an advantage gathering more resources in the beginning. But now for me is a bit of a is a bit of a downfall because her main skill is very very important in the group fights, and you're going to see when Cleopatra is going to use her skill in this uh, in this video that she is doing group healing, and if you uh, put her with another commander that has the rage recovery setup she's going to keep doing the healing and granting defense that's why john of arc is very very important in the expedition as well because of the group buff that it does attack to the archers defense to cavalry and health to the swordsmen so that is very very cool and pff, that is awesome a lot of bonuses a lot of healing for your troops so you can basically see that i'm smashing three groups in the same time i don't care if they do ao area damage on me or anything I'm just smashing them down because I have heal I have bonuses from uh, from John of Arc so I keep on going now you notice when the battle started that uh, what I've done I just pulled three groups away I didn't want to take the chances to leave my Charles Martel there so he can pull the other two groups so I said I'm gonna face three groups in the same time my Charles Martel is very strong and he's going to do it and you can see that he still has a white bar and again i have no buffs for increased army capacity or uh, or damage because i was just planning to try out if it actually works this setup so i was like giving it a try and i said no let me press record because you never know i might get lucky that's what i just said and then i started doing 30 i was like wow I did 3 star on, on 63 hours impressed myself, I'm telling you. Uh, so I was like, let's let's keep on going boy. This is, sounds glue. This sounds very very good, this looks very very nice. So obviously I kept on going, so I'm gonna speed this up a little bit, because obviously I'm just gonna smash these guys. Oh, that's, that's a bit too far. Alright, so this is 65. You can see it's Richard the First and Charles Martel. When I saw this, I was like, "What the hell, dude?" 65 Richard the First and Charles Martel with full infantry. I was like, "No freaking way, bro!" I was like, "Jesus Christ, how am I going to beat this?" So let's see, have I done it or not? But I already showed you that I'm at 70, so obviously I've done it. I ruin at the moment. <laughs> Anyway, I move Charles Martels on the left because I, you know, Richard has a, a fan shape uh, debuff. It's just reduced the damage of the troops up to five targets, if I'm correct. So I was trying to keep uh, the enemy Richard away from my troops. So I was trying to position my troops behind him. Uh, I haven't done it exactly the way I wanted. I should have tried to put some troops on the top. You know, because you can see, which is that one, CPO? Yeah, CPO is going to get hit as well, but I put in there for tanking purposes, not to do damage. So I wasn't like, you know, I, you know what, it, it doesn't really matter. All I cared was about Lancelot and the Boudica. Them two I cared uh, to be able to not get the damage debuff. It's, it was the same about Tomoe. I didn't care if she gets hit because she's just an extra. So this was a bit of a mess up over here, but I was like, you know what, let's keep on going. And apparently Richard is losing, losing troops way too much. And this is something that I want to mention. You can see that 
my Lancelot and Binamoto, they are on full cavalry and they are hitting swordsmen and the swordsmen are the counter to cavalry and my Boudicca is full on archers and archers is the counter to the swordsmen. Now you can see the bar, if you notice that from the beginning, you can see the bar of Lancelot going down and you can see the bar of Boudicca, the health bar, the amount of troops they have that is, is still high enough and you can see that Lancelot is keep going down. Well, Charles, Martel and Richard, they are just beasts. They, they do not count. Their health bar is not going to go down. It's always going to be up. But because Archers is a counter to the swordsman, <clears throat> to infantry, I'm sorry, you can see how difference does it make in, in a battle. So this is what it means to counter the troops when you have the necessary amount of troops. Because obviously, if you do not have enough troops to build specific setups like I have built uh, right now, obviously it, you have to go with mixed troops. And I have done that for a very long time until just recently when I finally managed to be able to do separate groups for each particular for each particular army. So look at that, look at Boudicca. I mean it's true that Boudicca does have a slightly heal and she's probably keep bringing back and uh, John of Arc has a bit of heal as well. I don't think that heal made such a huge difference that you can see Lancelot is in red already just hitting from the side just hitting swordsman from the side. So there you go, 65 3 star from the first try. I was like, what? Let's keep on going, man. This is good stuff. So the next one is, I was checking the ranking. I was like, what? <clears throat> so this is the next one. This is 66. I'm not highly sure if I've done this one from the first try. I think, no, the, the next one. I needed quite a bit of tries to do it, which is 67. So I positioned my troops, I said that the best way I could probably do this would be to try to pull these two groups, smash these two groups down and then probably deal with the other three groups and that's what I, I just done. And since they are horses, <laughs> you can see that they are all infantry. Charles Martel was a hero. He was a pure beast in this battle. I was like, you know what, boy? This is what you were made for. To smash down the pesky cavalries. Just bring them down. Kill them all. And this is what Charles Martel did. Oh my god. I'm telling you, I was enjoying. I was enjoying. Uh, killing these stages I was keep trying I was keep trying and I was keep failing and failing and failing and when I managed to get specific groups of troops like Charles Martel is now with full infantry full cavalry and full archers when I got I was you know I like hot knife to butter that exactly is how I went through this expedition stages I was actually at work when I was doing this I was at work and I was so intense, I was recording and I was playing, I was so intense there, looking and people were looking at me, my brother was touching me, he was like, bro, you're at work, for fuck's sake, what are you doing, I was like, leave me alone, man, leave me alone, I'm here, I'm, this is the moment, I'm doing it, <clears throat> and now Charles Martel is, is going to face three groups of of horsemen let's see if he can do it is he the hero of the day i'm not sure he might get smashed in this one uh, because of the amount of silences that he gets because if you know lc does a one second silence so if they do like groups you know silence silence and silence i think charles martel is not managing to heal that much or wait, he does. I mean, he does use the skills. I'm not sure. I I think he died. But we are going to find out. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. Because after this one, I'm going to have to put the next video for the next part. Yeah, I think he managed to die. So I, I'm not sure if I 3 started this one. Yep. No, 3, hor three groups of, of tier 5 horses is... Even for Charles Martel, it's pretty much, but I would say that he survived there like a hero 
like a champion. Uh, I, I'm not. I don't know what to say, but he did very, very good. I was happy about it. He managed to do it. Now that is the last L seed. 50 seconds left. Come on, boys. Bring them down. Bring them down. Kill them all. No survivors. And one star. Alright, now I'm going to bring the other... I'm going to put the other video up. And this is uh, on this on this video. If I'm correct, this is 67. So on this one, I'm actually showing the setups. On this video, I also used an army enhancement because I was I was not able to go through. So on 67, I used the army enhancement and I used a 5% attack bonus. So this is Charles Martin and Richard, just Swassman. Then I have Woodica and John of Arc, full archers. You can see that John of Arc was maxed. Full cavalry, Lancelot and Minamoto. Then the second tank, a uh, mixture of troops, for them it doesn't matter. And this was a mistake here and I think I fixed it. Yep. This was just the extra. Alright, so I, I think I managed to, to do it in this video from the first try. It's also the strategy, it matters, the strategy that, that I used, you know, it, it's going to make a difference. So this is what I've done because I've noticed on the previous tries on the previous video I had a couple of tries but there was no reason to, to show those tries I've tried to pull like two groups in the same time in fact two groups in the same time but it didn't work the best way to do it it was to pull separate groups and I think here yes you see here there was a slightly bit of a mistake I should have pulled CPO a little bit more further on the right and apparently this guy is not gonna leave me alone and uh, yeah I was keep trying to move I said come on leave me alone he stop hitting but he didn't want to so here it was the same a slightly bit of, bit of mistake Tomoe is getting hit and it's not something that I wanted to So I had to put Charles Martyr to start hitting that group. Maybe he's gonna leave my Tomoe alone and he he done. So Charles Martyr is now uh, tanking both of them. Budika with John of Arc on full archers. Apparently they are doing quite alright against Swordsman. Because if you didn't know the archers is the counter for the, uh, the infantry. I keep saying Swordsman. But it's infantry. Well they are Swordsman at tier 4. So... <laughs> yeah, so the archers are are the counter for, for the infantry. So apparently Budika is doing a great job there. Here we already got a group done. This one is half away. We are on three minutes time. Both groups apparently they are going down here. So I put CPO to start hitting the other group. So I'm gonna finish a group at some point. This group is going down as well, so I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Try to make it uh, slightly faster. Alright, so I was trying to do this at 3 star, but I lost too many troops because I've done some mistakes. Obviously, when I'm going to repeat it, uh, I will play it much better when I have time, and I will do it. So Tomoe is going to have to sit this, this one out because she's already quite hurt. I think I managed to do it, but in the quite last moment. So obviously, you know, after that, that one died, I put everyone in. I was like, no, at all in, let's do it, guys. We have to kill it. At least we do the stage. So 
if you do the stage, you know that's a plus. So only two stars because I lost too many troops from the two mistakes that I've done. First Tomoe got hit and then on the other one I managed to pull the, the boat groups which it wasn't very very cool. Look at that 180, 150, 130,000. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a huge amount of troops. I think I've done this from, from the first try if I'm correct. Because again, we have horses and I have Charles Martel. So this worked like a charm. Everything, you know, worked in, in my favor. I was like super excited. I was like, you know, hyped. I was like, come on, boys. I was not able to pull them. This, was, this is uh, what I was trying to I was trying to taunt them. So there you go, I managed to taunt them, to try to bring two, two of them groups, to put them on the bridge, you know, just like the 300 done, you know, in a small corridor, their numbers count for nothing. That's exactly, so look at Charles Martin, he's there holding the bridge like a pro, like a hero, like a true warrior that he was born to be. Not to mention about Richard. So there it goes, surrounded five times, Frederick, my man, you're surrounded five times. I feel so sorry for you, your, you and your other Richard are no match for my amount of troops. Look at that, AoE heal, AoE groove buffs, 150. <sighs> so this was a super intense battle. So now I was trying to switch the targets and I was just using my, my strongest groups to switch to the other targets first. So there you go. Tomoe Gozen. Now you're probably wondering why I haven't recorded the lower levels. The reason I haven't recorded the lower levels is because up to 55 they are pretty easy to done. It's, it's a matter of amount of troops. But after 55, you do need a strategy. You, need a, you do need a strategy and you, need, you do need certain commanders like uh, John of Arc or um, Cleopatra. They are probably one of the best that you could use for, for the expedition, for the amount of group buffs they do and the, the amount of heal they do. And I have to mention that John of Arc when he's maxed out is, is very very good. She's an epic commander, but I'm telling you, one of one of the greatest epic commander when it comes to group fights. When it comes to group fights, I'm not sure if there is a, a better uh, epic commander. So I'm not sure how this one went, I think it all went alright. So I managed to attack the third one because I was checking the timer so I was like, oh no, we have one minute and something left, what's going on? We have to do this one, we have to perfect it, so I managed to attack the other one as well because I was losing a lot of time trying trying to, to fix out the groups. But I believe that I managed to do it, 43 seconds left, so that Herman went down. I'm just speeding up to the video. Oh, I didn't think I'd done it. Alright, so time's up. Well, you've seen the strategy because I just lost a lot of time. So I'm just going to speed it up because I've done the same thing. I believe so. So I pulled three groups this time with, with my Charles Martel. So I'm just gonna speed it up because you already seen that it was possible to do with the same amount of troops. So yeah, I took care of these three groups and then there was two of them left. But this is what I'm trying to say. Because of the groups buff and the, the groups heal, you've seen how much the troops they are surviving. So there you go. 
2 minutes and, and 20 seconds left, so it's much better than the last time, and we are on two groups left. So now I'm sending I'm sending charge to attack the other one, the other group as well. So now I'm just sending in everyone. When I send the groups in, I'm trying to spread the damage. So I'm, I'm usually focusing two groups and, and two groups. Uh, I'm not like trying to do one group at a time. I'm trying to spread the damage so they both go down at some point. In the same time, if you reduce their, their health bar, which is the one on the right, that means they have less and less troops. And that means that whoever is tanking the damage is going to get less damage. Their skills are going to be less effective, so that's going to be a plus for you. So there you go. This is the one when I'm when I'm doing it down. Should have checked. So even better than the last one. I I'm on like 37 seconds left, and I've done it. And look at that three star. How about that? Stage 68 three star. So now it's only 69 left, and it's the same. It's split. I was just checking them up, what who they are, what they have, because all I'm interested in the most when I'm checking them up is who does group damage. So I've done the same thing, I just try to pull one group at a time. You see, then, then I, I pull the Charles Martel back. And lucky to me, they have horses. <laughs> Or are those, those are not horses, those are like samurais or whatever, barbarians. I haven't seen those troops. Anyway. Alright, so, yeah, just one group at a time, so let's speed it up, let's see if I managed to do it. I believe I've, I've done this one. Because I have like three minutes left, yeah, John went down. I think the other two, I, I just went in on both of them. Well, slightly bit of mistake, but... I did the same. Yeah, I was, I was checking the time and I saw I was, I was like, you know what, I have three minutes left. I have plenty of time to just do one group at a, at a time. So I was like, why not? Let's just do one group at a time. So after the the group it went down a little bit, I was like on two minutes left, so I was like, you know what? My Charles Martel is doing great. Look look at him. He's surviving there like a champ. So I went and just hit the other the other group as well. To try to take it down. So on this side, Tomoe Gozen and uh, Budika plus John of R they are doing a great job over there. A little bit of healing from, from both of them and Tomoe Gozen also has Cleopatra which is an extra healing so there's three ways where those archers are getting healing from that's why is the main reason why uh, Boudicca is managing to survive that long not to mention that John of Arc is giving a 25% damage reduction but look at Charles Martelio and Richard I'm super doped I'm super hyped up when it comes to this setup. I really, really, really love it. Seriously. I mean, the amount of damage they can they can sustain. It's just literally insane. So now it's just one minute left. It's just John of Arc and Pelagius. So look at the other groups that they, they have never taken direct damage so the other groups they have never taken direct damage they are just hitting from the side Charles Martel is the main direct damage the one that takes direct damage and he is actually healing more troops than he's losing I was like what the hell bro I was like wow I should have done this uh, way sooner and level up Richard but I didn't have the stars to bring Charles Martel to six star to be able to do this um, very nice and, and setup that I have right now. So there you go, 
69 three stars <sighs> I was like listen if I do 70 yo I'm you know I'm, I'm gonna leave work I, I don't know I'm, I'm gonna do something I'm gonna get drunk if I do 70 but you've seen there was Hannibal Barca Julius Caesar with 700 freaking thousand tier 5 troops <laughs> oh <laughs> I know, I know, I might sound a little bit childish to be honest, but I was really hyped doing doing the expedition with with tier four troops. I, I did not expect to get this far. Uh, there are players that have tier five troops and they are the same level with me. I was like, no. But it's seven hundred thousand troops, and uh, apparently Hannibal Barca is quite quite powerful his skills are quite quite too much you can see that even charles martin cannot take it with swordsman in full reduction i was just making sure that i'm recording so i'm just gonna show you this try or what you could expect uh, when you want to do this particular stage my best try i managed to get Julius caesar to 300,000 troops that was my best try uh, so, uh, yeah, I have no idea what I can do best to manage to beat this one, except the fact that I need more troops. So probably when I hit 25, I can get more troops in a group. If I use the 50% buff, uh, I'll probably be able to reach somewhere close to 300,000 troops per group. So if I manage to do that, even tier 4 then I can probably beat it with this setup but I need more troops at this point so you can see that my groups that are hitting from the side are dying my <laughs> Charles Martyr and Richard is dying <laughs> so all the buffs and everything that I have is that is just a tremendous amount of troops there that is just too much so at the moment that group is beating me because of the amount of troops they have yeah so I'm gonna stop it right here because I lost so it will not make much much of a difference if I keep short but you've seen uh, what you can expect from the expedition and uh, how the expedition is all right so I hope you're going to find this helpful or if you need help in some of these particular stages you probably can learn some of the strategies uh, that i don't or you probably can adapt depending on what commanders you have and maybe this will going to help you a lot all right so until next time this is legend ronnie peace out yo